Hey, what's up everybody? Um, sorry for the delay on this video. I know it was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago, but I ended up having COVID and I was just really out of commission for a bit and I'm finally getting around to doing it. I still am going to be doing videos once a week, so that is not going to change um, now that I'm better in health and I can get going on this stuff again. Um, most of them will be Halo, but also I'm going to have some other variety stuff in there, so just so you know people who are here for different things can get what they want um, in terms of content but today we are going to go over ai i'm not going to get too detailed with it i can do a second video on doing you know ai movement and things like that we're just going to show you how to get a basic squad in and prove that they work that they attack and things like that so um I did a poll and this was the most requested feature for people to get a tutorial on so I'm gonna get this one done and then we might expand on it a little bit more as time goes on um, but yeah and for the level just ignore this this is a work in progress map that I have right now it's a very very work in progress this is not gonna be the final look of it if you've ever played Halo custom edition you might be familiar with uh, the layout if uh, you ever played that game back in the day, this is one of probably the most popular maps besides like Extinction and Cold Snap and stuff like that. But uh, anywho, I'm getting sidetracked. So what we're going to do today is show you how to put down a squad and give them weapons or grenades and prove that they work, set the teams, all that good stuff. So first thing you want to do I already have them set up, but you're going to want to go to your bipeds, Ugh, excuse me, edit types, and you're going to want to go to add. Now for this example, I'm going to add something new. I've already tested this with three different uh, squad types, but um, we're going to go ahead and go with, let's do let's do elites so we're gonna grab the elite biped we're gonna add it and in this case it's not single player so we're just gonna do the elite biped not the elite SP biped and we're gonna hit done so the biped um, necessity is because the map won't know what model you're referencing to when you try to make the squad it won't give you an option to pick what enemy type it is or ally type in certain certain cases but it won't recognize the uh the model that you're trying to place so it'll just say none when you're trying to make your squad so that's the reason we're adding the biped and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go down to ai and we are going to go to squads and we're going to make a new instance and we're going to set the team to covenant so we have that and then we are going to go down to this little drop down right here where it says squads underscore zero and we are going to go to fire teams and we are also going to make a new instance so now we have our squads squad and then we have our fire team set up there's no starting points there's no patrol points but we're going to do that right now so we're going to go down to character type and we're going to go to Oh, I apologize. I missed one thing. So for these squads, you're going to go to edit types. You're going to go to character and you're going to add your AI character to it. In this case, we're going to be using the elite like I picked and you're going to go to AI and then elite dot character. Give it a sec to load. And there we go. So we have our elite. And we are going to change this because this should not be the Marine. We're going to switch it to the Elite. Now, we're going to set down a couple points. I gave them six points. So there's going to be six Elites. And for this case, I am going to give them some weapons. So what we are going to do is go to Items. We're going to go to Weapons. Edit Types. Add and let's do rifle and we'll do a plasma rifle why not 
We're gonna add the plasma rifle. Let it do its thing. Perfect. And then we are gonna go down to the elite and we are gonna give them the plasma rifle. That is the same process for any squad that you wanna do, unless it's like a hunter or something that can't hold a weapon, obviously. I don't know how that would work. If you do assign a weapon to it, let me know what happens. Um, but then we're gonna give them Covenant Plasmas, and they're not gonna have any initial equipment or anything like that. And, uh, okay, so everything is referenced. So we have our squad right here, which we're gonna name Elite One, just for organization purposes. Team is Covenant. And then we have the fire teams, which are the elites. So for the fire team, since we have six positions here, we're gonna put six on the diff count. This is important. If you don't do this part, they are not gonna spawn. So make sure you put in the diff count according to how many you placed in one squad. And then we are gonna go up here to elite one, right click and place squads. And look at that, we have our beautiful elite squad. They're out here hanging out. They see me, my character is over there. Just to show you, they will start attacking me. And there you are, that is a basic squad. And you can also assign them to be what teams you can assign yourself a team. So uh, you can make allied teams. Like let's say if I set this to Covenant and then I made a squad of Marines and I set them to Covenant, they would fight together instead of fighting against each other. So this is just a very basic overall AI tutorial. I will go over some more in-depth stuff, but I just wanted you guys to be able to get the AI into the game. Um, you can kind of tinker around yourself and mess with some stuff here in Sapien and, uh, you know, do patrol points, things like that, but that's a little more complicated and it's going to take some time to make that video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is a basic tutorial. This is just getting AI in. We will expand on this, but, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, leave them down below and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.